So next up then is the Coral Welsh National. Uh, we've got a really good big field for this, as we should have as well. It's the top jump race of the week, really, handicap-wise, and it's a Grade Three, three mile five furlongs. And at the top, at the top, is as good as it gets for Leon van Rensburg, Manic Monday, Padre Hogan, Knightly Contract, Craig Beckwith, Band of Outsiders, Leon van Rensburg, Sweet Women, David Hooley, Savita Mata, David Robertson, Lacondona, Eternal for Padre Hogan, Nicholas Silva, Kevin Meenahan, the uncle for Joshua Sutherland, Bucco, Marty Lidham, Target, Craig Beckwith, Alfred Pound, Darren Thompson, Boomerang Aman, Graham Clutterbuck has also got Watchtower, Captain Mannerin, Marty Lidham, last year's winner coming back to try and repeat, Parla Dazlin and Catastrophe Rider, Thomas Rogers, Persian Gates, Derek Hinton, Warm Light, David Hooley, Gunpoint Defence, Stu Gray, Cosmina Cordial, David Robertson, Ridame for Daniel French, Molly Awesome, Alex Cherry, Maybe Breeze, Obi Wan, Lakeside Meath, Stu Gray, Sarah Manamu for Matt Cooper, Glenn Fly, Fredlock for Alex Cooper, and the Honor Magnate for Matt Cooper. A great big field, and away they go then. As you can see, there's a turn comes up pretty quick, so it's a fairly long run to the first, so they've got time to get themselves all settled down and into the right sort of order, they're pretty wide on the track, some of those, it's quite a tight track this, but a pretty big field, a long old way to go, hopefully the ones that are caught wide will get themselves into a decent sort of position before the first fence comes up, as we see them from several different angles early on, we can see the Persian Gates has shot off into a clear lead, and is currently five or six lengths clear. The main pack are headed by nightly contracts at the moment. They've got 22 fences to take in all, and the first one is almost upon them. And here it comes, and the leader pops over it nicely. The rest of the field also stream over it well as well. And it's Persian Gates in front. Band of Outsiders is second. The first of the ditches is the second fence, which they all stream over. Kevin Meanhands Nicholas Silver is the back marker. And get over the next one oh, we've got one or two color issues again with this race maybe and it's Persian Gates in the lead Manic Monday Band of Outsiders and Molly Awesome as they get over the next which they're all safely over yeah we have got some color issues last year's winner Captain Mannerin should be running in the red rum colors he's running in John Morgan's colors in this race well, if he wants as well as John Morgan's new horses are doing on the flat I'll be more than happy with that. Bucko is also supposed to be running in my other colours, the purple and white stripes, and he's running in something totally different. You can see him right out the back in sort of green and light blue get up. I'm not sure about any other mistakes, but it's disappointing in these big races when we can't get things right. It's Persian Gates in the lead though from Manic Monday in second, Molly also is third. Then the uncle is fourth and lack and donor returns after that one. Then nightly contract and band of outsiders. Glenfire Fredlot is next. Gunpoint defence, Alfred Pound and Watchtower. Then Captain Manor and Nicholas Silver and Savita Mata. As they make their way towards the next. And Persian Gates is in front. Not quite sure whose that is because Colours are not overly recognisable as they get over the next one of regular ones, possibly Daniel French maybe, he has lots of different colours, Paul Rhodes has got some different colours this season as well as they get over the next, which they're not all safe now because there's a faller and that's Target that's gone in the Craig Beckwith silks, I assume it's one of Craig Beckwith's horses, but I'll take that on trust, Persian Gates is the leader over the next. All safely over that. Looking towards the back, Bucco is the back marker. Only confused because he's got the wrong coloured silks on. As they get over the next, they're all not so they all know there's a fall there. Cosamina Cordial has gone, so we've lost two so far. That's probably David Robertson's out as they take the next. And they're all safely over that. Then we take a look at them from the roof of the stand. See them racing towards us. Past the big screen. Past the winning post, and they'll go out on one more circuit of the track. And this Coral Welsh National Persian Gates is the leader. The uncle is second, and Lack 
Luck Undone are eternal is third. Then Molly Orsa and Gunpoint Defence. Night Fly Contractors after that one. Then Manic Monday and Alfred Pand. Warm Light is next. And then Glen Five Fredlock. Sweet Women's in that little group as well. And Persian Gates in front. Luck Undone are eternal second. And the Uncle and Gunpoint Defence. Manic Monday and Alfred Pan. Must be his winner. Captain Marin has now moved to the outside and has got quite a lot of ground to make up on the leader. Well, it's Persian Gates who continues to be that leader as they take their 12th. Which they're all over with the exception of Watchtower who's gone. And he's running in similar colours to the horse in front as they get over the next. I'm not quite sure whose Watchtower was. I've got a funny feeling it was. Graham Clutterbox, but they certainly weren't his colours as they get over the next one. And they're all safely over that. With Persian Gates in the lead. Gunpoint Defence is in second. And a big race for Stu Gray as they get over that one. He nearly went there when I said that. They're all safely over that one. With Persian Gates in the lead. Manic Monday is in second. Then comes Alfred Pound and Warm Light. Gunpowder Defence is now back on an even keel again. Band of Outsiders after that one as they all stream over the next with the oil magnate just the back marker we've got a mile left to go now and it's Persian Gates who lands in the lead from Alfred Pound and Manic Monday Band of Outsiders Warm Light Lacedonia Eternal and Gunpoint Defence then Nicholas Silver and the Uncle are getting closer Sweet Women and Satavita Mata is next Captain Manor trying to weave his way through and get into a more challenging position as they take this turn and Persian Gates has led all the way so far Alfred Pound is second Manic Monday is third now the grey Nicholas Silver is coming through to throw down a bit of a challenge also bursting through there is the second of the Padraig Hogan horses Lacandona Eternal that one's come through as well but it's Persian Gates Nicholas Silver and Lacandona Eternal Alfred Pound Sweet Women Band of Outsiders Manic Monday with Darmy getting a first mention as well as they Head down towards the next, and Nicholas Silver has now taken it up. Nicholas Silver's gone on then into the lead and has quickly gone two or three clear from Lacandona. Eternal in second, up the centre of the track, Savita Mata is running a big race, but Dami is also getting into it over this final ditch, they go, that's a 90, that's a crashing fall there, Leon van Rensburg's as good as it gets, has gone, and it's Nicholas Silver in the lead, from Sweet Women, who's come through, Savita Mata, Warm Light, Lacandona Eternal, Alfred Pam, Band of Outsiders, plenty of chances over the third from home, but it's still with Savita Mata now, Savita Mata, Alfred Pam, and Lacandona Eternal, Sweet Women, Band of Outsiders, Manic Monday, Catastrophe Rider, trying to get into it as they get over the second last fence and it's Alfred Pound who's gone on Alfred Pound then from Manic Monday in second Alfred Pound coming down towards the final fence in the Welsh National looking like he's only got to jump it he jumps it slowly a much better jump by Warm Light in second but it's Alfred Pound who's clear and Alfred Pound is going to take this one for Darren Thompson racing up towards the line the Coral Welsh National goes to Alfred Pound and Darren Thompson from Warm Light in second long time leader Persian Gates in fact might get up to be second Second ahead of Warm Light, then Sweet Women and Band of Outsiders, Manic Monday, Persian Gates last year's winner, Captain Mannering didn't get into it at all. The oil magnate was last. And Darren Thompson takes the Welsh National pretty cosily. Won that by a good six lengths or so. I'm presuming it's Darren Thompson's unless the colours are all jumbled up. It should be Darren Thompson's, or it doesn't sound like one of his names. Let's take a look and see. It is Darren Thompson's Alfred Pound, the one then for Darren Thompson. Persian Gates, a long time leader, was actually Derek Hinton. Warm light for David Hooley was third. Band of Outsiders, Leon van Rensburg, fourth. And Sweet Women for David Hooley again was fifth.